from here up to here where uh, where is this part of brachial plexus present in the neck its exact location right now actually these roots are entering into a special slit like or groove like structure between two scalene muscle which is called interscalene triangle now exactly where is interscalene triangle so we will go for that i will make a very simple diagram first i will make those things which everyone can recognize let's suppose these are vertebras right these are Vertebra. vertebral column everyone knows the cervical vertebral column and then thoracic vertebral column right now from here for example if it is c5 c6 seven eight and t1 from here what is coming out yes ventral roots ventral roots these roots these are the ventral i'm making a very simple diagram in this diagram this line is actually representing this component mm -hmm. right as you, you know it is ventral root dorsal root spinal nerve proper then this is dorsal ramus and this is ventral, ventral ramus right. now this ventral ramus right which is actually the considered the root of brachial, brachial plexus i'm showing here so this is ventral root this is basically c5 root 6 root 7 8 t1 and bilaterally they are present now once they are out of vertebral system where they go that is the first question actually from here they enter into a triangle right and that triangle is called yes this triangle it is smiling right is smiling because it's very difficult to understand and laughing at you this triangle which is of course present bilaterally just on the sides of this triangle is deep in the neck right in the root of the neck or deep in the neck there is a triangle i will tell you in detail exactly what it is there is a triangle like groove and actually ventral rami related with brachial plexus or roots of brachial plexus enter into this triangle they enter into this triangle. triangle and they pass through the triangle and when they come out actually within the triangle upper roots fuse together and they will make upper trunk upper trunk and c7 that will just pass through it don't consider them my eyebrows and c8 and t1 right let it laugh it a little down they will come together and they will also make a trunk so in this way through this uh, look at this triangle this special interscalene triangle is receiving the roots which are i will repeat it again and it's worth it roots of c5 to t1 and these roots are ventral rami so we can say that this triangle is just lateral to the vertebral column right it is just lateral to the vertebral column and of course this must be then present on both sides right it should be present on both sides right so now you will tell me c5 fiber c6 fiber they enter into this but within it they will fuse and they will come out as upper trunk and c7 they will go and they will come out as middle trunk and c8 and t1 fibers they, these roots will enter or ventral rami will enter and they will fuse and they become lower trunk in this way we can say that roots of brachial plexus when they emerge on the side of vertebral column they enter into interscalene triangle within the triangle upper two root fuse together and upper trunk emerges out of triangle laterally middle 
root c7 continues as such and emerge as middle trunk laterally and c8 and t1 ventral rami right they fuse together within this triangle and eventually emerge out laterally as lower trunk, hmm, lower trunk. and actually these lower trunk they are going downward and upper trunk and middle trunk now this is your upper trunk middle trunk and lower trunk they are having on this side another triangle they are having on this side an other triangle and that triangle is called subclavian triangle subclavian triangle 